Good day everyone, my name is Fino Marie Bicia and for today, my group is going to tackle about the basic medical image processing and analysis. Before we proceed with our introduction for our topic, I am going to break down our title into five words. First definition of term is the word basic. Basic, forming an essential foundation or starting point or fundamental. Second, medical. Relating to the science of medicine or to the treatment of illness and injuries. Third, we have image, a visual representation of something. Fourth, process, a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Last definition of terms is the word analysis. Analysis is a detailed examination of elements or structure of something. Next, we're going to proceed with basic image processing. Basic image processing deals with the development of problem-specific approaches to enhance the raw medical data for the purpose of selective visualization as well as further analysis. Here, it deals with how we could manipulate the image for the purpose of enhancing the raw medical data to be able to be used for further analysis. When we say raw, it means it's not yet finished or it's not yet polished and it needs more development. Next, we have a basic image analysis. It concentrates on the development of techniques to supplement the usually qualitative and frequently subjective assessment of medical image by human experts. Here, we are going to analyze the, te the techniques that can be used for the procedure in order to enhance the image and to produce a good quality radiograph. Also, we will know here what are the causes why our image is radiopaque or radiolucent. We can also know if we did a proper positioning for the patient. This topic is like a pre-step before performing our procedure in order to produce a good and readable radiograph. Quality evaluation. Quality evaluation plays an important role in assessing any new hardware, software, image acquisition techniques, image reconstruction, or post-processing algorithms. When we say quality, it means the degree of excellence of something. And when we say evaluation, this is more likely to be done before proceeding or performing the said procedure. Here we check or we decide how to manipulate our machines and how we should edit out our image before we pass this to the radiologist. Why should we evaluate? First reason, in evaluating, you're preparing to produce a good quality radiograph but still with minimum exposure to the patient and to you, the medical staff. Second, in order to not repeat the procedure. Why it is not re um, recommended to repeat the procedure? First reason is, is that more exposure, more risk to the patient and to you, the rat tech. Second, it will cost you more money. Quality evaluation is a planned and systematic actions that will produce consistently high quality images with minimum exposure of the patients and workers. And that concludes my part with the introduction of basic medical image processing and analysis and my part which is the quality evaluation. Good day everyone, my name is Marfi Kaibot and today I'm going to discuss about the statistical analysis and information interview. Statistical analysis is the collection and interpretation of data in order to uncover patterns and trends. It can be used in situations like gathering research interpretations, statistical modeling, and designing surveys and studies. Statistical analysis of image quality measures was used for evaluating the quality of enhanced images. In archaeology, 
we can use the statistical analysis before doing the procedure of the patient to know the information we needed, the step-by-step procedure, the right measurements of the patient, and the right equipment to use for us to create a good quality radio. Next is the information interview. The interview measures the system's disorder. The concept of information interview was introduced by Cloud Shannon, known as the Shannon's interview. It describes how much randomness there is in a signal or an image. In other words, how much information is provided by the signal or an image. If the uncertainty is measured before and after imaging, the reduction of the information entropy is quantitative measure of the information transmitted by the image. The image quality then can be quantitatively compared when the transmitted information provided by the images are known. From the physical measurements point of view, the more information is transmitted, the better the image quality is. Uchida and Chai first introduced a method in terms of entropy for quality evaluation of radiographic images and applied this method to assess the quality of tank developed images and that of automatic processor developed images. They demonstrated that the quality of radiographic images were largely affected by the characteristic of the X-ray apparatus, exposure factors, intensifying screen film system, and film development process. Here in information entropy, we can see the randomness of the or the uncertainty, like the noises of the manager that can destroy the quality of your image. Here is Uchida and Chai who first introduced the method in terms of entropy. They discovered that the extra apparatus, the exposure factors, and etc. are the main causes of the noises in an image. And that's all for my part. Thank you. Good day, each and every one. My name is Miami Asabes, and I will be going to discuss my topic that is all about coding and decoding. Coding and decoding. Color information in digital is used for many practical purposes, mainly in security fields and also with grayscale in just application. When we talk about coding, it is the process of converting medical diagnoses, procedures, services, and equipment rendered and used into universal medical alphanumeric codes. Example here are the patient's records, indication, medication, and procedures. And also when we talk about decoding, it's the process of translating print into speech by rapidly matching a letter or combinations of letters. We are able to explain or gave our interpretations towards the data or information that being gathered or coding, coding and decoding method gives more speed and accuracy in the process of encryption and decryption, where speed is needed for storing a large number of medical images from different scanning departments and these images are characterized by larger sizes than average. And also, the browser needs speed over the internet or internal network in hospitals for transmitting the wanted decoded original image or after cutting a specific part from the whole image size. Fast image decoding with accurate details is an advantage of our proposed method. And that could be all. Thank you. Good day everyone, I am Angela Benio, 
I got a case stable and stable signal processing. Stable system. A stable system satisfies the depot conditions. For a stable system, output should be bounded or finite. For finite, a bounded input at every instant time. Stable unstable system. The unstable system does not satisfy the Bebo conditions. Therefore, a bounded input. We cannot expect the bounded output in case of unstable systems. Good day everyone. My name is Joseph Tadle. This is the reporter of Group 5, the basic medical image processing and analysis. My topic is all about transformation. The transformation is the process of image transform is comprised of data acquisition image reconstruction. Several methods have been proposed by using transform based techniques and medical image of specific tissues of organs or obtained to assist in diagnosing the disease. A transformation process is any activities that takes inputs. It deals with the development of problem, specific approach to enhance the raw medical data for selective visualization as well as further analysis. Like for example, you have to x-ray the patient, dapat takto ang iyang pagkuha sa uh, correct, uh, it is give a correct proper position of the patient and a correct um, uh, good quality of a radiograph that is my and transformation is an image trans transformation can be applied to an image to convert it from one domain to another viewing an image in domains such as frequency or half space enables that identification is features that may not be easily detected in the spatial domain so there are five Types of common image transformation includes the hug transform. The hug transform is the technique which can be used to isolate features of a particular shape within an image. Like for example, kana magkuha ka X-ray, dapat ang yahang ma proper proper position or ano caliper ang yahang size. Next is the radon transform. An integral transform whose inverse is used to re reconstruct image from medical CT scan. The number three is described cosine transform. It is represent an image as a sum of sinusoids of varying magnitudes and frequencies. Number four is discrete Fur Fourier transform. So it is a represent an image as a sum of complex exponential of varying magnitudes, frequency, and phases. Kanang kanang magikstrik ka kung sa kanang sa tama jud ang iyang pagkakuha sa correct proper position of the patient. And mag last is wavelength transform. Wavelength transform is a mathematical tool for the for analyzing data which features vary over different scales. Like for example, a caliper. Caliper is the one that you we we ah we know how we know the size of the patient. Like for example, CT scan, MRI. We all know that transformation is ah an is ah words for the radiology. So ah sa unang panahon, yeah, kung unsa ra mo hang makuha sa patient, dilit na nimo siya pidi ma edit. Unlike sa karon na panahon na unsay mong makuha, pwede niyo siya makrap, pwede niyo siya ma-edit, pwede niyo siya ma mahayag, mag-tear ang iyang camera. So, grabe na siya ang generation. Good day everyone, my name is Marija Mola and my topic is all about image reconstruction. So, image reconstruction is the mathematical of image reconstruction. The CT produces tomographic images from the from X-ray production and data collected from numerous angles, uh, angles all around the subject. The fundamental effects of image reconstruction on picture quality and consequently radiation dose. It is preferable to reconstruct 
and we just forgive and erase those with the, with the least amount of noise while maintaining image correctness and special resolution. Because in images of the same quality can result in decrease in radiation. So image reconstruction is pwede siya ni mo ma-rebuild or ma-restore ang image quality pero still in maintain the reduce yung mga siya. So ang buot pa sa buot sa image reconstruction kay kini ma-apply in order to correct or reconstruct and preferable given radiation radiation dose with at least amount of noise. So, for example, magkuan ka, mag-x-ray ka, then yung x-ray is just part lang. Then, nothing ni mo nga rinasign. So, pwede siya ni mo ma-edit or ma-crop ang part na dili kailangan bitaw. So, anang ni mo ma-apply ang image reconstruction. So, muna siya. So, next is background removal. A digital processing technique called doctrine removal can be used to separate a picture's components into interesting and undesirable areas. Before further analysis and analysis and many applications of image processing and computer vision. So, ang background removal is pwede siya ni mo pwede siya i-separate or editon ang mga air gap. So, background removal is based on my opinion na from the world itself to remove the unnecessary background of the image to focus on the to expedite the uh, an accurate result. So, for example, sa background removal, ang inong nakuha sa extra or result is fog bitaw siya. So, ana ni mo ma-apply ang background removal para bitaw mawa itong mga fog na na. So, muna siya guys. Thank you. Good day ma'am. I am Marjorie T. Bicada. My topic is all about noise removal and image compression. Noise removal is the process of eliminating of decreasing image noise using an average filter and a median filter remove noise. Increased noise levels can result in hearing loss and other car problems as well as emotional stress, which is lowers worker productivity, the important asset of a good image and also prescribed an age. There are two types of models which are used for linear models and non-linear models. And generally, linear models are used because of its speed of elimination is not able to preserve the ages in the efficient manner. Explanation sa noise removal Ang noise removal kay ang process sa pag-decrease sa image noise. Bali na ang siya ay duha ka advantage, advantage kini pwede maka-epekto sa mismong radiograph o sa hearing of sa staff nga naa sa sulod. Image compression The goal of radiologic image compression is to obtain a low bit rate and lower the data volume of radiologic images and digital form without sacrificing the perceived quality of the images. Exhumation sa kanang image compression. An image compression is the process sa pag compress sa image without affecting the data or the quality of the radiologic radiograph. I mean, so that's all. Thank you.